Alright, All right. what's up YouTube? PC Rose 1 again. This is like my 8th video today. I don't know, something like that. And what this video is going to be on is the McDavid Hex Pad Knee Pad. Um, I did a performance review on these before, but I'm not going to admit it was a pretty bad video. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it was a pretty bad video. Um, I had a lot of questions that I didn't answer in the video, and I might not have answered in the comments. So, this is what I'm really going to do. I'm going to go on my computer right now. My computer's behind me. I'm going to show you guys. My computer's right here. Um, that's my baby brother. Uh, if you, uh, just in case anybody was wondering. Um, and I am going to go on my YouTube page. And I am going to look at the questions. So I can give you guys exactly what you want. Because I do this for you guys. I don't, I don't do this for myself. I do this so that when you guys go to buy whatever it is you're going to buy. Um, you know exactly. Or I try to give you exactly what. You know, try to give you some kind of picture on what you're going to be up against. So yeah, I have a video, I have a comment right now on my Hexpad review. Um, oh, okay, that's just somebody answering another question for me. See all comments. So let's see. What size would you suggest for a 15-year-old point guard? Um, well, I'm a 16-year-old point guard, and I just recently turned 16 a couple weeks ago, and I have a medium, and... Oh, right here. I'm about 5'8 and around 135. I'm 5'10, around 140 to 150. So I would suggest, honestly, I don't know, because you're at a, I don't know how big your legs are. So if you match this guy and you're a 5'8 point guard around 135 pounds, I would say get, because these go, it's, see, I don't know, because if you have bigger legs, like, when I was 5'8", I had bigger legs, so I'd probably still get a medium. I would say, honestly, this may sound weird, but this is what I did. I took a piece of tape, rolled, unrolled the tape, wrapped it around my thigh, because that's the biggest part. That's the biggest um, area on my leg. I wrapped it around my thigh, took it, put it next to a ruler or a measuring tape to see how long it was. And I think the mediums go from about 12 inches to 16 inches. So my leg was somewhere like... 14 or something like that so I went with these because that fits so I would say if you didn't want to do all that to just get a small put it on if it didn't work then return it that's the only thing I could um that's the best advice I could give you um how tall are you because I have a pair in extra large and they drag off my legs when I run I'm 5'10 about 5'10 5 5'11 5 um you got a pair in extra large, I would definitely say go down a size, return it. Um, I think I answered this question for this guy already, but this is just for if any of you guys have any questions. Um, do they feel like they slide down? I thought they slid down because what I was doing is I was pulling them up over my um, my hex pad shorts, and I would notice that they would slide down off that, but that's just because I was stretching them too much. But if you just pull them up, let them relax, put them on your knee however you want them. Where I usually put them on my knee is about, I'm going to show you guys my knee. I put it so that the pad covers up here, because this is the sensitive part of my knee right here. This little knot, look, you guys can see it on the camera. That little knot right there, when I play basketball, I kid you not, it swells up to like, I, I'll show you guys the picture. I have a picture on my Facebook. I'll show you guys the picture of my knee swollen. Um, I, so I usually cover the top of my knee to about, you know, the pad. The pad will only covers so much area, so I pull it up to about here. Like, that's how I have the knee pad on. And um, they don't slide down. Um, I know what Adidas has to keep their knee pads from sliding down is right here where that is. They have, like, a rubber thing. This doesn't have that, but it does a good job if you get the right size. The compression in it is good, so you don't have to, you don't have to go, you know, they won't slide off. Um, trust me, they won't slide off. Um, I have one weird question. I didn't know how to answer it. Um, it says, uh, where is it at? Oh, yeah. Um, what what's the sizing in inches? I don't know how to answer that because this thing stretches. So, like, right here, it's definitely over a foot. But then if I go like this, it's a little bit longer. So, I didn't know how to answer how long it is in inches on the box. Let me see. I'm going to go to my video because on the box, yeah. On the box, it says 12 to 16 inches. So, um... Yeah, that's how long it is. I don't know what you meant by... I'm sorry, I, I can't help you any further with that because I don't know what you mean by that question, not to be rude. Um, 
Uh, let's see. I don't see any more questions, but I'm going to put this on on my knee so I can show you guys. I did it in my last video, but I'm going to do it again just so you guys can see. So, pulling it up, very easy. You see, you just, boom, pull it up. And a lot of people, this is what bothers me. A lot of people, they buy these pads and they wear them like this. Just like this. This is how they wear them. Your knee is right here and the pad is right here. My knee is right here. This is covering my shin. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I could really care less about my shin because, yeah, I have been knee to the shin and it hurts. But that knot on my knee is covered by this. But this right here hurts a lot when I get kneed in it. So, when I pull these up, I pull them up to here. So that the top of my knee, right here where it bends, is covered. All this, and my knot is covered right here. My knot's about right here, and it still covers up to here. And I usually pull it up so that you can see... Sometimes I'll pull my sock over. It depends on how cold it is in the gym. Sometimes I'll pull this all the way down and pull the sock up over it like this. But then it looks like I'm wearing tights. And people are like, why are you wearing tights? And I'm like, I'm not wearing tights. So if it's not warm, if it's not cold in the gym, I wear it just like this. Um, see, it's a very comfortable fit. It's not going to slide down. If You know, when you move and run in them, it moves good. You can bend your knee just as good as you would if you didn't have it on. If you don't want it to slide, which you can do, this is what I found out. You pull it up to where you want it, and then you just go like this. Just stretch your knee one good time. Boom. That way, when you're running, it's already, you know what I'm saying, it's already where it's going to be. It's relaxed in this position. And it's a good, you know, it's not a bad look. It's a good looking, you know, it's not, it doesn't look funny on your knee. So, that's um, part two review to this. McDavid knee pads. When you buy them, oh yeah, that's another thing. I'm, uh... They are, I believe, about $29 or something like that. I don't know. It's a very low price because when you buy them, it comes in the pair. So you don't have to buy the knee pad separate. You pay for it. You pay for the size you want. They come in black or white. You buy them, and when you get them in the package, I kid you not, they're like this. They come in the pair. Boom. Back to back. You take them apart, put them on, see if they fit. So... Um, it's a good knee pad. I hope I answered all your questions. If not, feel free to message me or leave a comment um, asking anything else. Uh, I tried to cover everything in this video, but, you know, you can't always be perfect. Other questions come up, I understand. Um, so, Keith D. Rose 1, comment, rate, subscribe, watch my other videos. Peace.